Hello guys, welcome to Everything Metallurgy and welcome to day 51 of 100 days 100 concepts. Today in this video, I am going to explain you about polymer crystallinity. So before proceeding into the video, I want to explain you about the 100 day crash course which we launched two days back. Okay, so I just want to brief about this. Okay, so this course covers each and every part of the gate syllabus. Okay. So basically this is a full course but we are calling it a crash course only because of the time limit okay so it's only that you get access until gate 2021 which is only 100 days right so it's uh, possible right if you are at least spending good amount of three to four hours a day you can definitely crack along with our videos right so all these are pre-recorded videos right so many people uh, has also been asked whether these are live if it is live how come the schedule will be there and all don't worry everything is pre-recorded and you can watch according to your pace and we are always available to you to solve your doubts and this particular course not only comes with videos but also you have complete test series right so full test series okay of about 60 tests you will be getting it right and this comes at only about rupees 15,000 rupees and best part is you are getting everything that is getting sorted you for gate empty preparation so do check out our website everythingmetallurgy.com to avail this and remember this offer whatever offer or whatever you want to call it this course will only be available till 10th of november okay so do check out and grab your seat right so with that let's start our video so guys what is crystallinity so before moving to polymer crystallinity i want to explain you about what are crystalline solids so we know solids are of two types majorly crystalline solids and amorphous solids right so in crystalline you will be actually having a good packing right there will be a proper periodicity and symmetry associated with the atomic arrangement okay whereas in amorphous or non-crystalline you see that the atoms are randomly arranged there won't be any particular periodicity even in short range you cannot find a good periodicity of atomic arrangement so that is the basic difference between crystalline and amorphous now we are talking about solids usually but what is this polymer crystallinity why is it different from these two okay so basically we know we know crystalline we know amorphous but somewhere between them we have something called a semi crystalline materials okay so these semi crystalline materials are actually crystalline only in short range order okay let's say if you have a kind of domain or material you only find short range of periodicity let's say only in this somewhere here somewhere here something like this and the rest places you find the amorphous arrangement or random arrangement okay so it's a mixture of crystallinity at some positions or places and the rest of the material actually is amorphous in nature okay so these are called semi crystalline or you can also call partially crystalline materials right so usually most of the polymers are actually semi crystalline in nature okay so how to calculate it so we have a formula for percentage crystallinity okay so percentage crystallinity is equal to rho c into rho s minus rho a divided by rho s into rho c minus rho a into 100 so this is the formula that comes in hand for you to calculate the percentage crystallinity now what are these rows obviously we know rho is density right so rho c here is actually the density of completely crystalline material okay so of course you can uh, find these you know you can find the crystalline densities amorphous densities in the standard books or handbooks okay so rho c will be the density of the crystalline material rho a is the density of the amorphous material okay that means this is zero percent crystalline in nature whereas rho s is 
the density of the semi crystalline material so this is what actually you want to study about so why we are actually using densities it's because if the atomic pack packing is very good that means if the material is crystalline in nature the atomic packing will be very good the atoms will be closely packed together so the density will increase right so that's why crystallinity can be expressed as a function of its densities right so obviously we are interested to call this polymer crystallinity because most of the polymers are actually you know uh, semi crystalline in nature so we use this particular concept to calculate it and yeah uh, many people have a doubt whether polymers and some other topics from physical are they important to get or not and yes this particular concept of percentage crystallinity even you can find in many previous year gate question papers so i hope this video will you know uh, will be beneficial for you in coming exam you know that's it for this video guys thank you thanks for watching thanks for supporting us we have been in the second half of 100 days so we'll be finishing this you know uh, we are so excited to launch and we are making videos with the same enthusiasm and thanks for the support for that and yes do check out our crash course which is ending on 11th sorry <laughs> 10th november yeah quarantined the dates are all gone yes but it's ending on 10th november so do check out you have only two more days left yeah do check out our website and uh, happy learning thank you guys thanks a lot for watching